Hello, my name is Ray Salazar, and this is Morning Real, a podcast where I review films, whether they suck, whether they're great, whether they're complicated, or just so basic you can serve on a white plate. I'm feeling very toxic today, especially in this April Fool's Day. And the reason why I got so toxic right now is because I have a guest here who's a comedian, loves conspiracies, and guess what? No tiene papeles. But let's get him some papers right now by introducing himself, Xavier Guerrero. What's up, my dude? How you doing, Max? Happy, happy to have me on the April Fool's one. Yeah, right? Yes. Now, it was about a week ago, we decided to do Grizzly Man. About a man who loves grizzly bears so much that he confessed many, many times on camera that he's a bear, dude. Just oh, in yeah. human form. And if not, wants to be one. This film was shot and directed and narrated by Werner Herzog. I don't know if you know who Werner Herzog is, X, but that guy's like a legend-ass filmmaker. Like he's been making all kinds of movies since like he was the, one, the 60s and shit. He's the one narrated it, narrating, right? Yeah, that the weird that German talking? accent. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's him. So he's known for that. Anyways, X, you said this movie's hilarious. I find it pretty hilarious, too, in, yeah. in, in an aspect. Yeah, it's not supposed to be. That's the thing. It, the thing is, I find it hilarious because it's not supposed to be funny. But if you watch it, that guy is, you think he has mental illness? I'm pretty sure you suffer some type of trauma, dude. Right? Because you could see, like. From that act all, like, giggly, you know. Yeah, like, if pretty, you want, Pretty yeah. affectionate with these ferocious beings that don't give a fuck who's who. Yeah. This guy would go t- for 13 summers to Alaska. To go hang out with these bears and interact with them. Like, I'm talking like five feet away. Yeah. If that. Like, for me to you, pretty yeah. much. And they, don't, and they don't know. I think he, I mean, obviously, spoiler alert. We do spoiler alerts here, right? Yeah, he go for it, dude. Dies. He fucking dies. Dies. He dies. And I think he dies because he stayed his welcome. And those bears that were there were hungry because there was no, what does he call it, the river? Because remember, he was crying at one point because it wasn't raining. And the bear and the yeah, he was fucking giving it to God, bro. Oh, he was mad at who he call out. He call out. It better rain. He called out Jesus, Buddha. Yeah, dude. He called out everybody. All Whoever's rules the world. I need it to rain now for these bears. And honestly, it fucking rained. <laughs> yeah. Who would have known, right? Yeah. No, I hadn't seen this movie in a long time. It was like a, I think I saw it when I was eighteen on like the Sundance Channel and yeah. shit. And. It seemed normal to me to see a man, and then the, even at that age when I was looking at it, I'm like, "What's the big fucking deal?" Like, it's just like, it's like a bear and a dude. They're on the same screen. They're like maybe ten feet apart, and I'm like, "That doesn't seem like a big deal to me." But you know, I don't know shit, right? It's dangerous. It's dangerous, and not only or like, that. Obviously, he died. Yeah, totally. I like that. Um, they show some type of like religious acts aspect to it where you have these like these folks who believe in like some sort of tradition where like the bear and the man have to be separated have to stay separated like they can't we're talking about like know the each other's people. existence type shit yeah like the igloo people right the ones that were pissed at him for i don't know if they're eskimos but yeah, i'm pretty eskimos. sure they're alaskan and shit yeah but yeah those folks but do you feel because he thought he was saving the bears like, in his eyes, they needed him to survive, which I'm like, oh, you're retarded. Like, this, these things are savage animals that will eat you alive. Like, they ate him alive. Yeah. And he thought he was saving them. He's like, without me. He thought there was poachers. Remember the poachers that were there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, dude, it's, it's a trip. Dude, my favorite, my favorite part of the whole movie, dude, was when he touched the shit. Dog. He, <laughs> he was, was just like, oh, my God, it's shit. It's warm. <laughs> it's warm. She just came here. Samantha, he had her name for her name. It isn't Samantha. He, he had a name, name. For, all, for most of them. Dude. Yeah, he had a name it's for fucking everybody. Crazy. The Grinch. The Grinch was the one that killed him, Kenno. Grinch, give it a name. yeah. The Grinch was the one that killed him. Yeah, no. And then what'd you think about, dude, shout out to the crazy white chick you brought out there with him that died with him. Amy. Amy. She should have ran. You think she had a chance to live? You think she had a chance to live? Because we don't, I mean, you hear the doctor talk about We'll tell them about that part. Well, I think it was discussed in the podcast called The Dr. Green Thumb Show. It was mentioned that these bears are like 
their top speed is like 30 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. They'll catch up, dude. Like, where would you run to? It's a big old fucking yeah. field and shit. And he claims he had no weapons. Yeah, right. He always came. He's like, I've since since the ape days or whatever, cavemen, I've been the only human being that's interacted with these animals without weapons. And yeah. I kind of believe that. I really do believe that he's a, like he had no knives, no nothing. I think he was just out there, him and himself. Yeah, no chance. Remember when the that's fucking what you got. remember when the fox stole his hat? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Stop laughing. He kept, don't steal my hat. He was like talking to this fucking fox. Like that he guy, knew it did that, wrong. That guy likes, like, he lived in the wild, dude. Wow. He, it's weird. Do you think there's still people like him? You dude, there's like, out there right now? It's, it's, there's, it's some, it's not bestiality, but like, what do you call it when like yeah, like like when the dude is just turned on by fucking like cars like those people yeah. that fuck their cars and shit some type of it's some condition I don't do you know, think man. he would have fucked the bears if he could have <laughs> nah but no? in a toxic world maybe yeah <laughs> if he had to because the way he talked about him was very maybe if weird. he was going crazier like say that he was still alive do you think he was gay he was trying to fuck a bear well I think it was kind of implied in the sense that but he had girlfriends though do you think he would because Maybe no he was reason. bi, dude. Maybe. He hated this fucking world, though, man. Yeah. It's weird. And then he says that the bear saved him because he was a full-on alcoholic. He, was, he OD'd. They claimed he OD'd. On um, what? No. He said, I don't know. I'm guessing alcohol. They never claimed he was drugs. You remember when his dad said he tried to smoke marijuana, and I put a kibosh to that. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I remember that. Movie's a trip. Over a hundred hours of footage. Imagine going through all that. So wait up. I gotta ask you that because I was I was tripped out while I was watching the movie. We can barely save the cameras on this fucking show for two hours. How did he have cameras for a whole fucking summer? He just backup cameras, a little pendejo, a generator. How do you think he did it? That's a good question, dude. Because I kind of wondered that too when I was watching. I'm like, dude, like if it's a hundred hours of footage, like, and he's there for like four months. And he's filming. I'm pretty sure he's filming every day. Dog, he was or every taking, week. Dog, how many takes did he take? There's times where Multiple he said he'd takes. take 15 takes yeah. for something. He'd be like, he'll do it with a green hat, a yellow hat. Well, what if I want to do it with no hat? He would do it with glasses, no glasses, like so many little things. Because to, to him, I think he wanted to do a film. And his idea, yeah. I think he wanted to do a big film. And he was pretty much like making a like it was a film in the making. Yeah. And you know what's died. crazy? That they show like that. Erzog, he made a movie, right? And then he made a documentary to that movie. So when he did the documentary, he was like, sort of like calling shots during the take. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like changing shit up. It's pretty crazy. So it's, it's cool to see that connection between the director and the, and the work that there are people out there who have that type of like, it's, it's imagination, dude. Yeah. Cause like the guy was a trip, dude. Like he thought bears were like, his friends and homies, yeah, yeah. That's like that's something to really consider. Would you listen to the audio part of them dying? I would see the video. You just watch. There's no video though. They oh yeah, the lens cap was the on. the lens cap was on, but they got the whole audio of them dying. Like she, literally, you can hear her say, "Run, run, Amy." I think her name was, or she was yeah. like, "Run, run," and this bitch was like, "Run away, I'm getting baptized." <laughs> and he even said, "He's like, don't kill them," because that's the thing. They ended up killing the bear. Que lo mató. Yeah, which was is what he didn't want. He's like, that's what's supposed to happen. I invaded in their house, so um, shouldn't die, but they killed them. No. Do you think they destroyed the tape? Because the director, who, that's a good what, was that? Was that and uh, Arwen, What was his name? Werner Herzog. Is that the guy that was told the wife or the one that was considered the wife yeah. to destroy the film? Yeah. What an asshole. We we we. We need that. But you got you to gotta get this, man. Like, he's creating drama. So yeah. sometimes there's directors out there, even on documentaries. Well, they'll, like, kind of add on to the, to the whole shit. They'll egg it. They'll make something up. You know, make it more dramatic and shit. Yeah, because it it, if it's gone, oh, it's gone now. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. What was your tipping point when you were watching that movie? 
the first time I I honestly I'll, I went into it to see it as a documentary because it looks feels like a documentary. But the fucking second you just watch this guy, there's something not something wrong with him completely. So it fucking did turn me on. That's when I was like, oh, this is a comedy. This isn't like a regular documentary where they're trying to. They're also not the the director's not making fun of him. It's a comedian thing in my eyes. Like I'm the one who's laughing at it. There's no soundtrack. There's no laughing track where you're like, oh, this is funny. It's just the way where you're like, oh, dude, this is someone's mental health being recorded and it's not supposed to be funny, but in the way it is. You think he saw it funny? Um I don't you know what? I'm I think he would have he would have like acknowledge the fact that you know what to somebody else it's just fucking hilarious yeah so i'm gonna go with that yeah definitely yeah well x i thank you for being in my podcast of course got any shout outs no just listen to we don't smoke the same stay tuned and uh i will be doing more of these reviews because i you get me to watch shit i haven't watched in a while it's quite a bit of things that you need yeah. to see. This is this is a and it's a it's actually, you know what the review on it is, Ron Tomatoes. I'm looking at it right now, which yeah, I'm kind of I'm surprised. A 92. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, yeah. That's why I thought they would hate on it, but it's actually no, it was no. Nah, it's, it's 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 well balanced as far as like getting to know the person, um, figuring out figuring out what happened. Especially getting testimony from very close people. Yeah. So, if you have all those resources, you're gonna. There's no. There's no way you can fail. To end it, you know how you said they recorded so much. Yeah. Think any of those were a porno? (laughs) Between him and his girl. I mean, just throwing it out. You're tired. You're bored. Why not? I wonder if any of the footage they got were like these fucking maniacal. They speaking, were fucking speaking around. Of the women, speaking of the women in that film, like they're all his girlfriends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple ones. They said that every summer it would be, not every summer, but every so often some girl would be down to go for the whole summer. They're wild chicks, dog. Yeah. Because you got to take a shit in the wild. There's no toilet seat. They have, they're a wild chick. You got to be a wild dude to hit that. Four months out. In the wild. Yeah. He's a G, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's a grizzly man. Man. All right. Follow me at Morning Shot Films on IG, YouTube. Rate and review this episode and this podcast, Morning Real, on Apple. If you're on YouTube, there's a YouTube version of it as soon as I distribute it. On to the next one.